to Adele, Adele blew my mind because as I was listening to her music, I could tell that this was real to her. And as I started studying the girl, I found out, I discovered that she had been through a breakup. They said her album 21, like she started the album, stopped for months because she had no creativity, right? But then they said all of a sudden her man broke up with her. And not only did he break up with her, he broke up with her, got with somebody else, and got engaged in a matter of weeks. It broke her, it broke her, it broke her so much. God is so good. Sometimes he gotta break us to bring the creativity out of us. He breaks her, he breaks her, he breaks her heart. And she goes into the studio. And when she goes into the studio, she just doesn't sing something she made up. She actually sings something that's true to her heart. At first, yep, she's gifted. Yep, she knows how to write. But it was kind of in the outer space. But then something happened to her. Something broke her. And when that thing broke her, something within happened to her. At first, it was just external. But then something internal happened. And sister girl got up and said, take me in the studio. Turn on the music. Turn on the sounds of, I got something for him. And she sang it like she never sang anything else. And let me tell you something, out of that pain, out of that hurt came the best album, the best single, the best song, and six Grammys. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in, get through it. And so God has allowed you to go up the rough side of the mountain, not so he can hurt you or break you. He's trying to redesign you. I'm telling you right now because I care about you. I'm telling you right now because I've been there. I've done that. You've been in it for three years and you about to quit. Ho! Oh, you've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People are looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Ho! Oh, you put too much in it to quit now. Ho! Oh, it doesn't look like you think. You didn't get the grades you thought you were going to get. So maybe I'm not meant to be a lawyer. Ho! Oh, lay hold of it. You lay hold of it. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You've been through so much hell. You gonna quit now? And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. You won't break me. You can't take me. I fought too long. I fought too hard. I'm unbreakable now. It's a very simple concept. If you want it, you gotta go get it. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide for clubs, for partying, for trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying because I'm trying to get it. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your sh molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you gonna fly. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. Fuck all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today. It's about the future. You do the work now. And all of the shit that you could ever want to do for your family, your kids, your loved ones, it's all going to be on a whole other stratosphere. This suffering, this sacrifice you're making is an indicator of progress. It's an indicator of obsession. It's an indication of progress towards our dreams. Dreams require sacrifices. You're not entitled to your dream. You have to fucking believe for your fucking dream. The price you will pay for not making your dream come true is far greater than the one that you will pay to make it come true. If you can't stick to something for five fucking days, you deserve to have a shitty life. You deserve to get your ass kicked. You deserve to be miserable. We're talking about five fucking days. We're not talking about 50 years. 
We're not talking about the five years it probably takes to build something worthwhile. We're not talking about the five months it could take for you to lose 100 pounds. We're talking about five fucking days. And you can't even stick to it for that. So what the f do you think you deserve? You deserve exactly what you want. And that's the truth. That's the things your friends won't tell you when you're f***ing and moaning about how your life sucks on Friday night, drinking a f***ing brewski with your boys. That's the sh your mom won't tell you when you're sitting in your mom's basement playing f***ing video games, when you should be reading or improving or working out or f***ing doing something. It doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't matter how frustrated or